preemption of resources and processes that is optimistic approach second is pessimistic approach pessimistic means termination of process or you can say uh, the killing of processes fine now in this case process termination basically two methods are there first is you can kill all the processes which are in deadlocked state maybe sometimes there is a situation that more than two or three processes are there in deadlocked state they are forming a cycle five processes 10 processes something like this so what method is kill all the processes which are in deadlocked state see in the previous video we have discussed one example in that case four processes are there in deadlocked state p1 p2 p3 and p4 so uh, the first method is about all the four processes i know you can say kill all the processes but you know killing all the processes who are in deadlocked state may be very costly so the drawback of this case is what it is very costly method to abort all the processes see let us take one example maybe five processes are there which are in deadlocked state p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 and see costly in what sense maybe suppose p1 and p2 has completed its execution up to 90% fine suppose at 10% this one is 10% and this one is 20% fine so see when you will abort all the processes then the p1 and p2 will have to then these processes will have to start their execution from the starting only but see p1 and p2 has almost completed its execution so it is not a good idea to abort these processes so it is not a good idea to abort all the processes who are in deadlocked state why so because maybe uh, some processes may have may have executed may have computed their work for a long time fine and when you abort all the processes then they'll have to recompute all the they have they'll have to recompute all its calculation from starting only so that is not a good idea fine so next thing is about one process at a time fine and then decide next one decide next one to abort after deadlock detection means about one process at a time then apply or you can say invoke the deadlock detection algorithm if still detection cycle is there then then choose the next process to abort then again invoke deadlock detection algorithm and keep repeating this step and until what until the deadlock cycle is eliminated but see see drawback of this case is what you are selecting one process and you are calling detection algorithm again selecting one process again calling detection algorithm so this is basically a it contains overhead of invoking the dead, deadlock detection algorithm again and again after each after killing of each process so in this case you can say the drawback is overhead of calling detection algorithm again and again after termination of each process fine so here here the funda is we should terminate that process fine we should terminate that process whose termination will cause minimum overhead and minimum cost to the system now how to how to select that uh, process whose termination will cause the minimum overhead and minimum cost to the system there are many factors basis on those factors you can select to terminate a process and those factors are so these are some factors to be considered when we are selecting a process to kill like what what is the priority of the process if process is having higher priority then we obviously we don't we we don't kill that process we used to kill a process which is having lower priority fine next next maybe how long the process has computed maybe a process has completed its 90% execution so it's better not to abort that process fine third thing maybe how much longer a process will compute before execution before completion fine next funda maybe how many and what type of resources that process has used fine next thing may be uh, whether the process is interactive process or a batch process next thing which is uh, to be considered uh, is how many resources the process needs to complete its execution 
fine maybe a process needs one one more resource to complete its execution or maybe you another process needs 10 more resources for its execution so it's better to abort that process which needs 10 resources for completing its execution rather than the process which needs only one resource these are some factors to be considered when a system is selecting a process to kill fine now the optimistic approach is this approach is preemption of resources and processes fine in this case some resources would be forcefully preempted from any process and that resources would be given to another process so that the another processor can complete its execution fine now here here the question is see preempt some resources from process fine but the question is from which process you will preempt the resources so so when when a system is implementing this kind of approach preemption of resources and processes then basically it needs to handle three problems so the three problems are selecting a victim rollback and starvation now what are these problems so selecting a victim means you can say which resource or which process is to be preempted fine say here here i am saying preempt some resources from a process from which process and which resource you will preempt you have to select that one so we will select that process you can say that will cause minimum cost to, to the system we will preempt resources from that process now now the minimum cost means many cost factors are there see here also we have considered these cost factors fine when we are we are selecting a process to kill so here also these type of you know cost factors are there uh, like a number of resources a deadlocked process is holding so here also some cost factors are there which is to be considered when we are selecting a victim process next fund is this rollback now what is this rollback when you select a process and preempt resources from that process then obviously that process cannot continue its normal execution fine then that process has to be rolled back to previous safe state and that process will start its execution from that safe state only restart you can say restart its execution from that safe state fine or second thing is total rollback you you are selecting a, you have selected a process you have preempted some resources from that process then you will do total rollback to that process total rollback means you will you can say abort that process and that process will restart its execution from its initial point that is total rollback but it's better it's better to roll back a process to previous safe state why so let us take a real life example suppose i am making this video fine and i have completed almost 50 percent of the lecture maybe uh, at last at some point of time i told some wrong information so i'll i'll reshoot the this video i'll reshoot the video obviously from the point where i told you that uh, maybe is some wrong information i'll not reshoot the video the complete video from starting only if uh, i'll reshoot the video from starting it means total rollback and if i'm reshooting the video from that point where I, I told you the wrong information then it is known as rollback to some previous safe state fine so that is the rollback funda in the process process will be rollback to previous sta safe state and will st restart it, its execution from that safe state second thing is total rollback the process which is selected as a victim is to uh, you can say is to be aborted and that will restart it, its execution from its starting point only see it's better what approach is better it's better uh, that safe state approach it's better to uh, roll back that process to previous safe state but in that case in that case system has to maintain the information of the state for all the running processes obviously if system has the information till what point what is the previous safe state then only system can roll back to that safe state na system can roll back that process to that safe state so system needs to maintain some extra information in this case now what is the starvation problem see in this case we are selecting a process and we are we are uh, preempting resources from that process fine but if again and again same process is selected 
for preemption then what will happen then starvation problem would be there for that process that process will never uh, uh, complete its execution will never be able to complete its execution now how to how to ensure that same process would not be selected as a victim again and again so in for this system has to ensure that a particular process can be you know uh, picked as a victim for some finite number of time and how how this thing can be ensured you can say in cost factor many cost factors we have discussed uh, many cost factors we will consider when we will select a process to preempt so in those cost factors we can include one extra cost factor that is number of rollbacks now rollbacks means when you will select a process and preempt resources from that process then that process will have to be rollback so you can select maybe suppose number of rollbacks are 5 set number of rollbacks cannot be more than 5 so uh, suppose a process p1 has reached to this point p1 has rollbacked 5 times then again sixth time you cannot select p1 as a victim process you cannot preempt resources from p1 process you have to system have to select some other process fine so uh, this this number of rollbacks can also be included in cost factors to to avoid this starvation problem so these are two types of recovery approaches optimistic and pessimistic approach so that is all about deadlock in next video i'll i'll, I'll start uh, that page replacement techniques i'll provide the link of all the deadlock videos in the description box you can check it out so till then bye bye take care